So today we're going to talk about digital circuit design. This is one of my favorite topics in all of electrical and computer engineering, and I hope that I can share with you a little bit of my enthusiasm for it. Uh, when we're asked to, to, to analyze something, which we've previously talked about, we're looking at something that someone else has done. We're trying to understand how they did it. It's sort of like art appreciation, but art appreciation, not nearly as much fun as actually painting a painting for yourself. And so digital circuit design or any type of design is when we're creating something new, something that is designed designed to improve the world, make it a better place, do something useful that would help people's lives be better. So today we're going to focus on digital circuit design, which means we're going to be building circuits. We're going to be designing and, and drawing circuits, and then ultimately, ultimately in lab we can build those circuits. Now to be able to design something, we have to have some criteria, some, some requirements. And there are a couple of ways that we can specify the requirements for our digital circuits. We can either give a Boolean equation or we can give a truth table. And it turns out that Boolean equation and truth table are really interchangeable with each other. And so we're going to talk first of all about how to design from a Boolean equation, and then we'll second of all we'll talk about how to design from a truth table. Now there are just many different types of Boolean equations, and, and so uh, we could talk about it from a general perspective, but what I really want to focus on is, is a particular type of a Boolean expression, and, and, and in particular it's this Boolean expression that's a sum of products. And so a sum of products is just what the name suggests. There are products and we're adding them together. We're summing them together. Now in the, in the world of Boolean algebra, a product is an AND gate. So you can see here that in this expression I have a product A and B. Here I have a product A and not C. And then I'm going to OR those together. Now if this were a regular algebra, this would be A multiplied by B plus A multiplied by, I don't know what this would be, but it would be definitely the sum of products. And so here, you, rather than sum of products, we could call it OR of ANDs. That would be fine too, but sum of products is the terminology that is used, and so we'll go ahead and use that, that terminology. It's also sometimes referred to as SOP. So we have two terms, each of which is the product implemented by an AND gate, and then those two products are then summed together using an OR gate. Anytime that you have a sum of products expression, anytime that the Boolean algebra is given as a sum of products, and by the way, any Boolean equation can be converted into sum of products form. It might take a little bit of work, but you can always get there. Anytime that you have a Boolean equation that is in sum of products form, it can always be implemented using one layer, possibly one layer of inverters, not always required, but often. Always going to be one layer of AND gates, and then one, quote, layer of OR gates, which is really just a single OR gate. So what you can see from this picture is that we, we generate C bar, or not C. Then we're going to distribute the different signals to the different AND gates. We're generating the products, and then we're summing those products. So if, if, I, if you gave me an equation that was A and B, or A and not C, the first thing I'm going to do is identify that there are going to be two AND gates. There's A and B, I have to generate that, that product, and then there's A and not C, I have to generate that product. Each of those two AND gates will have two inputs, because it's A and B, so there's two inputs, A and not C, so that's two inputs. So the very first thing I draw is two AND gates, each of which has two inputs in it. And then I'm going to take the outputs of those AND gates and I'm going to deliver them directly to an OR gate. Only one OR gate, because you're, you're just lumping them all together, you're combining them all together. And so that how many inputs does the OR gate have? Well, how many terms are there? There's one input for every term, one input for every product, one input for every AND gate. In this case, there are two AND gates, so there'll be two inputs to the OR gate. Before I even do anything to the left of the AND gates, I've already basically drawn most of the circuit. And almost all of the action is going to take place to the left of here. So now, now we can think about what goes as the inputs to these, to these AND gates. Well, this one needs to generate A and B. Well, this one is the B input, this one is the A input. Uh, commutation says it doesn't matter which one goes first. Uh, I just put the A in the middle because it needed to go to both of these gates, and putting it here in the middle eliminated the need for a wire crossing. So this generates A and B. Now, this one needs A and not C, so I have to first of all generate not C. So we have not C ended with A, that gives A and not C. And we've completed the digital design. I know it probably seems like that's too easy. Um, and, and in a way it is, I understand, I understand that perspective, I promise we're going to make it harder. But for right now, if you're given a Boolean expression in sum of products form, it is very straightforward to, to draw the circuit just by drawing a layer of AND gates, and then a single OR gate, and then if necessary, inverters before it.
Now it turns out that inverters are so easy, so inexpensive that we will sometimes think of them as being free. So if, if you, if you neglect the inverter here, if you neglect this inverter and say, oh, you know what? Inverters are so easy. We don't even really need to think about those. Then you could think of this as having one level of AND gates and one level of quote, or gates. It's just a single gate, but you have two levels of, of circuits here, two levels of gates. We actually call this two level logic. So two level logic is, is the phrase that we're going to use to represent uh, uh, the sort of a, of, of a circuit that can be used to implement a sum of products expression. Now, although this sum of products expression is, is definitely uh, meets the requirement of, uh, of satisfying that particular equation, it may not be the most efficient way of possibly doing it. And in particular, if I look at this equation, I can see that there's an A in both of these terms. So what would happen if I factored the A out of both of those terms? You can see here that I have A and B or A and not C. Exactly equivalent would be A and the quantity B or not C. Using our Boolean algebra uh, theorems from the from a previous ex, uh, discussion, we can go directly from equation one to equation two, and from equation two we can draw circuit uh, the circuit that's shown in Figure two. Notice that the circuit in Figure two is not in sum of products form, uh, and and it's 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 got uh, it's got a, a, some other stuff going on here, but it only has an AND gate, an OR gate, and an inverter. If I scroll back up to the to the Figure one, notice that this had two AND gates, an OR gate, and an inverter. So by some measurements, figure two is superior to figure one because it will require fewer gates. Therefore, it'll have less surface area. It might even be able to run faster because it has fewer gates. Um, there are, you're going you're gonna to discover on occasion that you'll be able to use Boolean algebra to simplify your expressions, in some cases much more than this example. But you'll be able to simplify those expressions down to the point where the, the, the resulting design is definitely superior to the original one that would have come from the SOP equation. So, you now have enough information to solve the designing a digital circuit from a Boolean equation example. I would encourage you to do that and then come back and we'll talk about truth tables.